Okay, my fault. This is going to be part two. Yeah, one is straightforward and legit, and the other one is kind of crooked, okay? One of his lion's heads, okay, on his throne is crooked, okay? And look at this. I feel like this is the energy. Like I said, he got the sun on his shoulder, okay? But he's got his staff in one on. Okay, he's got his son on the shoulder. The one with the son on it, the line is straight and perfect on his on his throne. The one that he has a staff sitting over the head of it, okay, is crooked. It's kind of like, yeah, giving me that world card energy, okay? The right hand energy. Mm. I don't know. But again, it says he was put on the throne, okay? This could be a he or a she. Or someone in between, okay? By the grace of Neb Neb Nebuchadnezzar. This is giving me ne ne Nebi. Nebi, okay? Also, yeah, uh, Bush, okay? This B-U-C-H is giving me, yeah, Nebi. Nebi. It, this also gives me Chad energy, like Africans from Chad, okay? Um, the grace, okay? Yeah, so again, this is, um, yeah, this is them trying to take that grace, uh, saving gra or grace something tarot, I feel like, trying to place her above the empress, okay? Um, czar energy. Yeah, that's what they're doing, okay? They're trying to take that grace energy and put it above. So they're going to skip over me. They're trying to skip over me as someone who had been with this masculine. And they're trying to use this. They're trying to take this other feminine energy, okay, and place her there. Okay? And her name is has grace in it, tarot, okay? And I told y'all, it's just so funny. I was just about to make me a setup for my tarot because I'm like, dude, either I'm being here or not or whatever. So I, it's all up in the air. I've been really wanting to do this for a long time, but I feel like I don't even fit in here anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't even get me a nice area to do what I do. You know, it's, it, it, that's why I don't like this whole energy here. Somebody just wants to keep me off my footing. Okay. And I feel like this is what they're doing. They're working with this masculine, one of these masculines to bring this feminine energy above me. And again, the archer energy is standing out to me. And like, I'm just shooting that shit down. If this is some kind of arranged, now, I mean, true love is true love. Okay. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is somebody trying to make me feel like people can't love me. The fact that this energy says, you know, tr uh, you're, you're lovable, true love. You deserve love. Okay. Yeah. And did, so why, what, what was wrong with the love that I just had already? Why, why wasn't I able to move forward with that? You see what I'm saying? Okay. So this is not what I'm choosing. Okay. Like it, this is just acting very fucking weird to me right here. Okay. Yeah. This is like them trying to mess with the level of ascension here. Okay. And I'm telling you, this is whoever, whatever, wh whoever feminine energy they trying to place in this position ain't me. And that's just what it is. You know, whatever position this is. It's not about true love. It's not about true love would be nice. But if I had true love, I got the mind and I have all these things, then why is everybody trying to stop me from sitting? You know what I'm saying? That's the energy I'm pulling because I feel like something was asking me, you know what I'm saying? What about this energy? What about this energy with some of these feminines? And I'm just thinking like, what are y'all talking about? Unless this is some instance where somebody has damaged me secretly you know, my womb or something like this. And so they're trying to say that I could, I can't go on and deliver or, or have children or something like this. Okay. This could be what this is saying as well, but, but then that would be illegal or against the law, I guess, you know, and somebody should be held accountable for some shit like that. Okay. Maybe somebody already did something by pulling out the roots and things like this again with that, the bounty inter, in, energy when it comes to Texas you know, again, my, for some reason, my mother has been trying to contact me a lot lately. At least a couple times. 
So again, it's funny how, you know, this energy shows up, you know, in the White House and my mother's trying to call me and, you know, it's just like everybody is like teaming up or whatever they're trying to fucking do. And it's getting on my nerves because I see them. Whose power extended over Judah. Okay. So I don't know who Judah actually is. Okay. And all neighboring countries after his victory over Pharaoh, uh, the Nico of Egypt. So this also makes me think that they're trying to take away something that the masculine, the one that I'm, that I was actually in connected with and had a good companionship with. It's like, they're trying to do this exodus energy and get him out of here. Okay. And matter of fact, some of this stuff, he may not, some of this stuff, he may have even not even like inherited. He may have even purchased some of this. I feel what I'm hearing. Okay. He, he may have even been born there, possibly, in this area, okay? At car. So, this is make me think vehicles, but car, shim, or Kim, mish, okay? I don't know. This is make me think about even Kim, okay? Somebody named Kim or even Kim is spelled C-H-E-M. Hmm. Maybe this is this person's energy too. I don't know. It says Zedekiah, whose name was Matania before Nebuchadnezzar had changed it. So this is giving me the energy of the masculine that was my first love having one name and then coming back. And I'm noticing him somewhere else in a whole different place in this lifetime, okay, with a whole different name. So that's when I say Taurus, Scorpio, cusp, it doesn't mean what everybody else is saying. It, for me, it means this Taurus that I fell in love with it was my teenage boyfriend, okay? But something happened, some alteration or something happened. And that's when this person became that Scorpio. Is what I'm seeing. And this Nebuchadnezzar had changed it. So again, this is the Bush energy. Okay. What 9-11. Okay. Me and this person happened to be together on that day. And we had to sleep over at his parents' house. Because there was a mouse in our house or a rat. Okay. And I wasn't having that. All right. I feel like this is what this is talking about. And so I feel like this person was replaced or something. Wow. Succeeded his nephew, King Jehoiakim, or Chin, or Shin. Okay. J O J J. Hmm. Who had surrendered himself to Nebuchadnezzar. So this is somebody who was probably brought in by this energy here. Hmm. In order to save Jerusalem. Okay. So, but again, this is those three energies. Remember, I did that video a while back with Clinton, Bush, and Biden, I think, and Obama. When they took that photo. I think I got in big trouble about that video I did back then, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surrendered himself to, yeah, in order to save Jerusalem, okay? Now, this could be Jerusalem the place or Jerusalem a person. But I, f mm. you know, this could be. Mm. I won't get too specific. This could be a leader here, okay? Something must have happened here, okay? And somebody had to come out. It's got something to do with somebody that was a leader from the time of 
the first bush until now, okay? After plundering the Beth, Ham, E. Kadosh, okay? It's making me think about Beth Sheba, okay? And the royal palace, okay? The royal palace. So somebody did something to the royal palace. This could be some kind of exploiting news or some high profile case or something that happened. Okay. Some leak or something in some information that might have caused a stir. All right. This could have been a big case or something. Hmm. A high profile case that happened. I don't even know why I'm thinking about this damn glove when it comes to OJ, but I don't I don't think that's what this is, but I'm just saying I don't know why I'm thinking about that glove because we've been talking a lot about the glove energy. I'm hearing if it don't acquit you it must have if it don't fit you must have quit. And I think I did write this in that poem or whatever that I wrote that I read the other day. That's weird. It says, exacting an oath of loyalty from the new king, he appointed Nebuchadnezzar returned to his land. Okay. Mm. This could either be a Bush descendant to today. Okay. This could be somebody, you know, a wicked person. Okay. A vile person, I feel. A feminine energy. Okay. I feel they're trying to appoint that energy because they want to bring more chaos to um, Israel, the Holy One, or Jerusalem. All right. Carrying away from Jerusalem, 10,000 captives, including kings and his family. Wait, including the king and his family, the nobility of the land and the leaders of the army. So this could be some kind of concentration camp or something. Like I said, this could be past, present or future. OK. This could be carrying away their identities or these people themselves, because we know that when we're talking about these prophecies of Esther, that she was supposed to be warning about prophecies of 90,000 or these different people that were going to be led out. Okay. This could be also some talking about some followers or something of somebody's. Okay. In this day and age. It says. Throw on the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar. So this is giving me that energy of the wisdom here on the Bible with the. um, I don't know. Right. This could be warning me about one of these masculines that I was crazy about, but warning me that one of them was dirty here and not to go that direction. OK. So we have somebody with the throwing a yoke. OK. Of Nebuchadnezzar. All right. In the ninth year of his reign, Zedekiah declared an open revolt against the Chaldeans. Or Babylonians. Again, Nebuchadnezzar led a vast army to crush the revolt. Remaining at Reb Rebla, he sent his troops southward under the leadership of his chief general, Nebuzaradan. Okay. This could be talking about, again, this could be talking about, yeah, the north sending some people to the south or the far north, like Canaan or Canada, sending some troops in. Again, this is past, present, or future. You, however, resonate with you. All right? But it's giving me that tract from the Midwest down. On the 10th day of Tevith, uh, which I think is like January through December or December through January. So I went back to see what happened on these days in the past, even in the past year or so. Okay? Because I was just looking for dates here, so I didn't read this. I was just looking at the dates. Because then we, that we have four, 424 BCE. This is making me think about even um, 2024, maybe. Okay? Or we could be talking about... Mm, Nebuchadnezzar. 
1924. The Babylonian army, this can be talking about 1924 as well. The Babylonian army arrived at the gates of Jerusalem and laid siege to the holy city. Get what I'm saying here? Now that's funny. We've just been talking about the holy one. Okay. In desperation, King Zedekiah sent word for Jeremiah asking him to pray to God. Okay, you see, don't even mention the whole thing here for deliverance. Okay, Jeremiah replied that the fate of Jerusalem was sealed. Okay, he begged the king to surrender and spare the lives of his own children and servants and the inhabitants of the city. Zedekiah did not listen, and Jeremiah, as Jeremiah advised and he refused to surrender okay so i don't know what this is talking about again i'm just someone who is the messenger but i feel like this is talking about somebody yeah okay so we have um that this person was even born in 1925 what did i say 1924 yeah 19 okay so i said probably 1924 here and if you look here somebody was born in 1925 here this shot shay beth top okay you see what it say all right Hmm. So we have Ben energy here, the tanks of Tammuz, so Arabic, uh, Palestinian, uh, peace to war. Okay. 1925. I'm telling you what starts wars is the lion's gate most times. Okay. Yeah. All that other shit. They could just, whatever they can add on to it, but it's usually that. Okay. So it's also giving me Helena of Troy energy here. Okay which is one of my ancestors, okay? So again, this may be, you know, I don't know if we're talking about like some kind of um, kidnapping here, okay? Or some out of placing someone. But if we think about it, you know, what if we got the devil energy here on lock, okay? So the, the thing here with the two women locking the devil into this cage, okay, is the same thing. This could be also two women that these could be tarot readers trying to insinuate that I may be the devil because they're trying to do whatever they can and use every avenue to get rid of me. Or this could be, again, on a larger scale where it's me and another person that knows this energy that's going to put this devil underneath. OK. Yeah. So we have the star card here. OK. And then we have the hermit here. OK. And I feel like this is the energy. This was the this was actually when it was very. Um, this, this companionship or what, whatever was very, it was very peaceful here. It was very nostalgic here. This is reminding me of last summer or even, you know, yeah, probably about last summer. Okay. So th this is talking about the winter, uh, Tibet is the winter months or whatever, the Northern hemisphere. So if we could be talking about again, the Midwest. Like I said, okay, let's see the 10th month, um, Jewish calendar. Um, okay. Nissan or Nissan. Okay. And then it says here, the book of Esther. Let's see. Hmm. So, oh yeah. These are some things that struck my attention here when I went back to, uh, 2010. Um, I think I might've put the 10th month. I don't know, but this struck my attention here. Again, this is the second time that this or another thing like this had happened, okay? Haiti um, or Haiti, severely damaged by an earthquake in 2010, 7.0, devastated Haiti, the Port-au-Prince, okay? So again, it's funny that we're talking about these princes here, okay? So they took out the princes of this place and put them there. This makes me think about prison reform okay or what kind of things because remember i can't remember when it was but i know that they've made some kind of change where they can use inmates and jail them in different places so guatemala or guantanamo Bay, like you know i don't know this made me think like they were taking children from specific places along with letting people be murdered in the middle of the street with gun violence. Okay. They were allowing, this was the real fucking war over here in Chirac. Okay. But they were giving you the perception that we talking about some old other shit. Okay. I'm just saying, I mean, you could take it how you want to, cause it could have been going on over there again, as above, so below here or there. Okay. Yin and yang. All right. 
So again, th this makes me think that they were taking people from here, probably even inmates or something like that, right? And they don't even have to warn the, pa the family or nothing. They can relocate inmates anywhere in the world that they want to, okay? So again, killing more than 200,000 people, leaving more than 1 million homeless and touching off a massive international relief effort. I feel like, not, uh, no joke, y'all. I feel like this is talking about inmates and stuff like this being brought in and moved around to different places and used for shit like this, okay? Where somebody would think their life was not worth anything and they put them in these positions or these conditions here. So I went back to see headlines from January 12th because I don't know why something made me look at the 12th first. I think because I was looking at the 12th month. I don't know, whatever. But this came up and it, it made me, you know, document it so, or do a screenshot. Okay, so it says that January 12th, uh, 2021 was the prepares for the second impeachment of Donald Trump unless Pence removes him from blah, 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 whatever else is going to say. And it says FBI warns of armed protests. Okay. So again, it says so that they can't protest anymore. Right. So again, I guess they might even think that what I said the other day about something occurring, you know, may be a revolt because it just says so they can't revolt anymore. So this is taking the strong men out of the city. Okay. This is also making, taking men that may be connected to me some kind of way spiritually away. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is what this is making me think of. Okay. we got December 10th. 2021 human rights day Nobel uh, prize day national lager day i don't know what that is salesman day dewey decimal system day mm, human rights day okay and then also this was interesting to me too because elon musk is popping up a lot more into the media here okay um with warnings or whatever okay and so we say we see mars and cars so again car remember we just seen car um Karmish or whatever that word was there. And I said, why is that making me think about cars? Okay. And then also Mars and cars is, it's also making me think about men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Okay. I don't know why, <laughs> but this was December 12th, uh, 10th, 2021. Okay. Only three weeks to 2022. Okay. Futuristic. Uh, will, will we be on Mars? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this is talking about, but I'm just saying, <laughs> okay? These is just a couple of things that I picked up on because, again, I can't get back into how I used to do. I can't get back into how I used to do. It's too much for me. It's too boring. It's like somebody trying to distract me. They know what I like to do, and they trying to do, make me do it so I can get distracted here. And I ain't trying to get distracted, okay? Okay? So... I think they're saying something about man eaters here. Okay. Somebody is being turned into a man eater. Okay. Okay. So let's see this here. All right. So I just want to read this little piece right here on 18. Cause I feel like we talking about 2018 possibly. Okay. Then the Lord's message came to me again. Why do people use this proverb about the land of Israel? The children are punished for their father's sins. Okay. As I live, says the Lord God, you will not use this proverb anymore in Israel for all souls are mine to judge fathers and sons alike in my rule. Okay. We already read this earlier. Okay. It says, but if a man is just and does what is lawful and right and has not gone out to the mountains to feast before the idols, okay, of Israel and worship them, okay, has not gone out to the mountains, to feast before the idols, to eat. So these mountains might be representing higher up women or people that have large followings or groups, okay? All right? But it's so funny because they cut off my channel so that I won't have a large following right now. Do you see what I'm saying? It's all by design. It's all by design. So what they did was unlawful already to me period. Okay. So now they want me to have to look to others. Okay. That don't even have the same skill set probably as me, but they're just going to be people that are going to be soothsayers. Okay. With the strength card. Okay. When real shit is going on, just like it just said in the other chapter, why you keep saying peace, 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 or good things is coming when bad things is coming. Because a lot of these women want me out of the way because they want something to do with the masculine. And the masculine might be wanting me out of the way at this point in time because he got all these bitches, all right? And think that I might be getting away of that. 
<laughs> when all I'm saying is, hey, I know who the fuck I am. Okay. So I don't have nobody to really trust or depend on at this motherfucking point in time. Not even my own family and friends and my own fucking children. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. To feast before the idols of Israel and worship them and does not commit adultery. Okay. This is ridiculous here. And actually this is the Lord's energy. It's not even the Lord God energy. The Lord God just says that you will not use this proverb anymore on Israel. Okay. And that these souls are mine to just, uh, to judge and fathers and sons are like, boom, 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 boom. All right. But it says here, do not, do not commit adultery. Okay. Which is not always, like I said, you just cheating on your husband. This is people that are basically going against the, the collective. Okay. It could be that as well. Nor lie with any woman during the time of her, her menstruation. And I don't know, I, I, did, I think I did break down menstruation before, but again, you could look at it like that, okay? But also I can, I think that this is talking about, um, I don't know why I'm getting communication or like while she's doing something here. Um, I don't wanna look right now, but again, that would be a good one to look up in etymology, okay? Cause it could mean something other than just your menstrual, okay? Like, didn't they used to say a minstrel show? What was it called? Like a, a show um, back in the day, like a skit or something like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is what this, okay. This is what they telling me. It, it's talking about, you know, um, don't lie with any woman during the time of her menstruation. This could be somebody hiding in the clefts of the rocks of the domes of the crowns or the corona of women while they're doing Mm. while they're doing their readings or their prophecies or something this could be somebody aiding and abetting this could be somebody you know in the ear in like a headset or something like this getting people to say stuff in their readings as if they're psychic and they're not right with some of these people or or laying with a woman and talking shit about another woman and then she does her readings off of what this masculine is saying to her with pillow talk okay you see what I'm saying? But more so, this is making me think somebody getting into somebody's head because we're talking about collaborative dreaming is the only card that we have sitting out here from that deck. Okay? So this could be people that are, like I said, doing that. Okay? And it says, and is a merciful creditor. Hmm. Not holding on to the items given to him in pledge or poor by poor debtors, but this could be people that could be valuable to you. So I don't know why you see what I'm saying. I don't know why. So this could be talking about page energy also possibly. I don't know. It said, okay, pledge him, uh, given to him in pledge by poor debtors. Like I'm hearing like pledge allegiance, like somebody pledging allegiance to somebody because Pay me back like you owe me. Yeah. I don't, that's why I am feel like I'm here and here. But I don't know. This could be also someone stripping a masculine down to nothing and then sending him away. But one thing he does have is love for the empress or another feminine energy. And that's why they want to do that. Okay. All right. And it says, and is no robber. Okay. Again, because... Again, if these people have been brought down to new slave mentality, especially some of these high-end people, okay, celebrities or any other people, okay, that might have been on top or rich or something at one point in time, and some of these energies have feminine or masculine or whatever have taken them down to nothing here, or black uh, black widow energy also, um, you know, this is a way to not kill somebody, but actually kill them off by taking all that they have, okay? All right. So now that they've let these women take these men down to nothing, they want to send them back to the Empress as the cleanup woman here. And they want to make sure the Empress don't have nothing to retaliate to go back after these bitches and get what the fuck they took from them. This feel like this is something that happened in the past. I don't know if it could be happening now or in the future, but I feel like this is how things went down in the past. 
And then these women actually went back to their daddies, which for, which were foreign ener energies or entities, right? And this is how America had been infiltrated, okay? But gives his gives food to the hungry. This could be also talking about the word or scripture or any kind of message or information, okay? And close to the need, um, close to those in need. So this is basically almost slavery, like making somebody work for nothing, okay? And it says in grains um, and grants loans without interest. Okay, I guess that's something. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And stays away from sin and is honest and fair when judging others. Okay. And obeys my laws. That man is just, says the Lord, and he shall surely live. Okay. But it says, but if a man has a son who is a robber or murderer and who fulfills none of his responsibilities, okay? And we have 11 standing out here to me, okay? Who refuses to obey the laws of God, but worships idols on the mountains and commits adultery. So this is somebody that's, you know, say you watching. Okay, this could be this too, okay? This could be somebody watching TV with you or chilling. Because I'm thinking we're talking about iris energy. I think we're talking about biometrics. Some of your pupils and shit already been scanned. So some of these masculines or some of these people have can take a seat in your dome, basically. And be, you, you know what? It's, it's, this, it's this show that keeps popping up on the screen talking about severance. And it just cracks me up every time I see it because it's this man with the top of his head sliced open. And there's a little man in there on a computer. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so again, this makes me think about me chilling and watching these energies or whatever and these masculines be just being tempted, you know what I'm saying, by these women's voices or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know, this is what, <laughs> I don't know, this is what it feel like, you know, I feel like this is what one of my masculines, because I feel like some of these masculines, you know, it's like my brothers or something or like cool like that or whatever, so, you know what I'm saying, I feel like that's what this, what this has been, Okay. Like somebody, and then also there's certain things, like somebody know that I have good taste in just people in general, friends, you know, whatever. Or had at one point, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm hearing pretty girl rock, okay? That, I mean, I could see how it would be. And then also if I have to, okay, so if somebody cut me off from being able to see and then knew that I would find the tarot community, but the father is saying, don't trip on the tarot route, like don't get lost on it. Okay, so most of these people, they some of these people, they show just their chest in the video. So if you're watching this person, you're watching the cards, you're watching their hands, when you're watching, you know, it's like basketball. Like I said, it's almost like a sport or something here, okay? The way that people be competing with each other and shit like that. If you think about it. Okay, so I can I can imagine okay, what these masculines is seeing okay, and then if they're not seeing me that much, and if they're not seeing me like I don't know, I think maybe even this has to do with mirror magic okay, for some reason, because they're not seeing you anymore. They're seeing all these other people that you're looking at or whatever. They're seeing oh, so I can see how this could be tempting for people too. They're seeing everything like that that you're seeing in your house and things like that. So that's why it's weird okay. I'm just telling y'all, just, just in case, I'm just saying, okay? All right? So again, but but it says not only, you know, to worship these idols on the mountains, um, but to commit, you know, adultery, okay? So this is basically a masculine going to them feminines and dishing out my dirt or after they seen what I do or what I don't do and lie about me, you know, or spread rumors or something like this, you know, and it, I'm just saying, as a high priestess in general, because there's a lot of us, okay? So I'm not just saying it's just, I just feel like it's worse for the Capitol Dome because everybody wants it to be that. And, you know, yeah. But it's like that that entity can fall faster and harder than anybody, right? Because everybody hates that or doesn't like that energy, okay? It says, and oppresses the poor and helpless and robs his debtors by refusing to let them um, redeem what they have given him in pledge. And loves idols and worships them. Okay. So again, that whole thing with this Nebuchadnezzar is energy or this grace energy or this Nebi or Neb energy. Okay. This whole energy that's already been done. So now, now we want to put this into play after somebody already cock blocked and somebody already coveted somebody's uh, masculine. No, thank you, ma'am. I'll take that back. Okay. I will take that the fuck back. I'm not even going to be waiting. Mm 
Mm. Yeah. And it says, and loans out his money in, at interest, okay? So this could be somebody handing somebody something and saying, flip it and see what you can get, you know, and just give me whatever back. I don't know. It says, um, shall that man live? Question mark. So this is a question more than anything. It says, no, he shall surely die. And it is his own fault, okay? But I feel like that's how you grow. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like somebody's trying to do that because they don't want somebody else to come up. Right? Because we talked about that when we talked about the King Solomon or the Ten of Pentacles card with all of the abundance. Okay? It would be no, more nation building if these people were given something by this masculine in, in order to flip it and turn it and bring it, bring back more for them and him. Okay? I can see where that works. I say except for beside the Empress because she's doing her job just being the motherfucking Empress. Okay? But then again, I feel like also we have this energy of the other energy where they're cutting people off at the same time from being a nation and they're just taking all the goods and things like that. There's another kind of King Solomon energy or a King of Pinnacle energy that is just going behind people's back and you're ignorant of the fact that you even have a trust or something like this. And this person is just marrying women and taking it up and putting it under their belt and then becoming rich off of it. Do you see what I'm saying? That is what I feel like my family line had to deal with over time. And then also not getting anyone, even if they were in a high priestess status, they weren't getting anyone to back them or give them anything. Okay. And I feel like it's because they knew that these women could do it all. They could do it too. You know what I'm saying? But they knew that these women were more powerful than these men. So they may, had to make sure she didn't have anything. Right. So that's when all, when they got, got to a certain point, which we could be coming up to now, then these men in their people that they, that did this to people can come over that person because they have more money it's not the bloodline or the birthright or the sovereignty or anything it would be the money that would exp uh, expel these like put these people exalt them over this actual real royal heir okay do you see what i'm saying all right so it's all about this energy to keep somebody broke in a society that means it, we have the death card here okay He shall do, surely die and it's his own fault, okay? And somebody's, yeah, okay? And somebody's saying that it's somebody's fault, okay? Yeah. I mean, I f it feels more like nation building, you know, either way. But the other way, if they're saying that this person should just be able to take from somebody and just store it up, then, you know, that's a lot of women that, you know what I'm saying, could be put in a situation where, again, she don't eat. And the husband is out there, you know, doing whatever he want to do and spending his, you know, wealth wherever. But this is their empire, their kingdom together. And again, this, what about her grapes or whatever that, you know, her grapes or her vine or her whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I use the terms on here. Again, we're stud storytelling, okay? I'm not a tarot card reader, okay? So, yeah, but this makes me think that this is the one percenters trying to lock down this kind of fucking energy. So they'll they'll be the only ones that will be able to make money like that. So you can't have like, um, it's also making me think about what they said about the vid and how, you know, a business that has a hundred people, okay? That has a hundred workers, you know what I'm saying, have to have the antidote or whatever, okay? This is bringing me back to that kind of energy exactly right there too, all right? Hmm. Let's see. But if this sinful man has in turn a son who sees all his father's wickedness so that he fears God and decides against the kind of life and does, doesn't go up to the mountains and feast before the idols and worship them and does not, what else? Commit adultery, okay? And is fair to those who borrow from him and does not rob them but fear feeds the um, hungry and clothes the needy, okay? So again, this could be feeding someone information, okay? I feel, really feel like this is talking about information more than anything, okay? And clothe them. This means giving you a title or a something, you know, um, or maybe even taking them into your bloodline or your tribe or something. Do you see what I'm saying? This, this is what this is making me think of. And it says, and helps the poor and does not loan money at an interest and obeys my laws. He shall not die because of his father's sins. He shall surely live, but his father shall die for his own sins because he is cruel 
and robs and does wrong. But I guess this does give me Saturn energy, okay? And Satan energy, okay? So maybe Saturn and Satan are one, you know, working together as a couple or something here up in here to see, see who they can devour, okay? Is what they say, but I'm not sure, okay? But anyways, I'm going to stop here. Take care.